Welcome back. Talking Red Sox on this Sunday night with Nick Fryer of the New Bedford Standard Times and WSAR Radio. Okay, after a futile effort on offense the last few weeks, Nick, double-digit runs scored Saturday and Sunday. What got into the offense? Well, it looks like the, the lineup shakeup worked. I mean, Mookie leading off, Ben Attendi, unconventional four-hitter, sure. probably the smallest one in the bigs. Who would have thought that he would be the guy that, you know, is, is the stable piece of this lineup right now, as much as, you know, Bogarts has done well, too, extended his hitting streak to 11 games today. They're all just... They all just seemed a little bit more relaxed, seeing the ball well, and mm -hmm. I guess the lineup shakeup worked more than anything. Do you think this is something John Farrell will stick with? Uh, Mookie at one, Benintendi at four, Bogarts at... Th I'm sorry, Bogarts at four, um... Pedroia at two. Do you like the way he's kind of changed things up there? Yeah. I mean, it's whatever works really at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's where in the lineup as long as they're getting the job done. You know, some guys, you know, you can't move up in the top of the order. Like Leon, he's not a guy who would sure. work well there. But mm -hmm. clearly at the bottom of the order, he's doing well again after struggling for so long. But really, you know, one through five, those guys, you can stick them anywhere in the order. And for the most part, they're going to get the job done. Obviously, Hanley wouldn't be a good leadoff hitter. Right. But yeah, I think he'll stick with it, especially if they get double-digit runs every time. Yeah. All right, so Chris Sale didn't have his best stuff today, but still gets the win. He had to kind of work through what he had. He got that big strikeout, I think, to end the fifth and finally got some run support. So is this a, maybe a good sign that he can get a win and get through a tough outing even without his best stuff? Yeah, I mean, you'd like him to do what he's doing every time. I mean, he's on pace right now. He's got 73 strikeouts. He's mm -hmm. actually on pace, Yanni, if he makes 30 starts to get like 312 strikeouts. That's I don't know if lot. he can keep that rate up, right. but he's – He's been lights out, and to have he's going to have off days though. You know, he still had ten strikeouts, but really, and it was an off inning. Yeah. So yeah, those things will happen. It's good to see that the lineup really backed him today because he needs that every once mm -hmm. in a while because he's not going to be, you know, perfect Chris Sale. He's going to be a, a human being once in a while. Coming up in this Milwaukee series, we'll see a first. Hanley Ramirez will make his debut at first. We kind of thought he's been skirting around this whole thing, trying to avoid it, but it obviously gives John Farrell some more mobility, changing things up if Hanley can play first and he can platoon some guys at DH. So is this a necessary step for the Red Sox? Yeah, but I don't see Hanley playing first base in the AL. I think that it's going to be mainly Mitch Moreland because mm -hmm. Moreland's done well. Why would you take him out of the lineup? Right. You know, and he's fielding fine. Why would you change that? Hanley's playing there because he's the better hitter, and that's really what it's going to come down to. It's just good to know that it's not going to be a huge issue like it was with Ortiz when he would play first yeah. base in the NL. So you think it's just an interleague thing? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. I, I can't imagine it being anything different. On the other side of the diamond, third base has kind of been a hot mess ever since um, it's a nice way Panda to put went it. down. You have guys like Rutledge in there, Marrero, Marco Hernandez, Brock Holt. They can't get any stability there. What do the Red Sox do about that position? You better hope that Sandoval gets healthy quick. I know he was hitting today at Fenway, which is a good sign, but it's, he's still going to take a little bit of time. Hopefully mm -hmm. Rutledge can stay healthy. And, you know, he had a hit the other day. He's doing all right, you know, but the fielding is what's killer, Yanni, is they can't get anybody to be consistent. Marrero had an error today. Right. It, was, it was a tough play, but, I mean, it's a play that you make, especially when you're there, for your defense more than anything. So, honestly, right now they just need to get a guy who's not going to be so jittery at third and get past right. what's been going on there. Uh, one of the killer bees, Jackie Bradley Jr., has not been hitting that well. When you go back to that big, long hitting streak last year, 29 games since then, uh, his offensive numbers aren't very impressive. Is he what we thought he was, which was not a very good hitter, or do you think he'll kind of trend upwards at some point? I think at some point he's going to be getting a little bit better, but yeah, I am concerned because he's streaky, and I think we knew this, but... If the Red Sox think he's going to be something more than that, they kind of, they're kind of fooling themselves. I mean, he started off the year slow, had that 29-game 29 game, 29 hit streak, then slowed down again, and obviously right. we know where he is. What I want out of Bradley more than anything is his power. If he's hitting 250, 260, that's fine. Even 240, if he's hitting 20 home runs yeah. and plays the defense he does, then it's not going to be a mm -hmm. big issue. But I'd like it to be a little bit more consistent in some ways, as consistent as a, a 240 hitter can be. Yeah, those numbers have to go down pretty low for them to take him out of center field. Yeah, right? he's With too good defensively. Glove. All right, Matt Barnes, another subpar effort today. He uh, kind of facilitated the whole Orioles-Red Sox beef. What's his status within the bullpen right now? Uh, not good after what he's done, but I mean, I wonder how much they're going to look at, you know, if the Twins are just an issue for him because it's, you know, he had an issue last year, now two games in a row. His big thing, too, today, you know, he likes to throw the ball up in the zone, and I've talked to him about this before. He does it intentionally to work off his breaking ball. You know, he's a fairly large human being, too, right. so it works well for him, and, you know, with his curveball movement, it works well. So. You know, when you do that and then you have bad control, you're going to run into walk issues quite a bit because you're going to keep missing out of the zone and guys aren't swinging. So 
I think he'll figure it out. He's been good. You know, he just he has his moments where he has hiccups. That's kind of why he's a relief pitcher mm -hmm. at such a young age. All right, Red Sox off day on Monday. They go to Milwaukee beginning on Tuesday. You look at the AL East right now with the Yankees in front. Do you think the Red Sox are going to catch them, or are these Yankees going to be the front runner for the foreseeable How future? How about them, Yankees? How about uh, them? I think that, that eventually it's going to get a little closer, but I mean it's still pretty close right now. But I don't see the Yankees slowing down anytime soon. I mean, and if they do and the, they get even with the Red Sox, I mean, that's still not really slowing down because sure. they've both been playing so well. So I think it's going to be a tight race throughout. Yanni, know, I've been saying this to you since the offseason. Everybody's yeah. sleeping on the Yankees. Look at what they're doing now. And now they got Sanchez back, too. Sanchez so, back. So rookie of the year is going to be Judge over Benintendi? Ooh, that's a tough one. I, I mean, right now it looks like it would be home runs, It right? looks like it would be Judge over Benintendi right now, and every, everybody loves the long ball. We know that. So, guy's huge. Six, he's seven. a moose. Yeah, he's what six foot seven. Yeah, he's just he's, he's a very yeah very large yeah, I individual. Think the Yankees needed least. someone in their in their nine to kind of garner some excitement there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you need guys like that. Absolutely. All right, Nick Fryer, good stuff. Thanks so much for coming in. Catch him on Twitter at Nick underscore Fryer. And we'll have much more from the Sports Wrap coming up right after this.